Hi, so here we have a problem which was sent by Mr. Shivam Kumar Tripathi from India and in this problem we have to find the smallest number which when divided by 13, 15 and 19 we get the remainder 1, 2 and 3 respectively. This looks like a problem with LCM. This is a problem where we have to find LCM in, in certain step. This is not a straightforward problem because here these remainders are different and their difference from these divisors is also not same. So there is a slightly different method to find the solution for these kind of problems. So first let me note down the tables of 13, 15 and 19 because that is going to help me in solving this problem quickly. So here first we will take two numbers 13 and 15. A number which when divided by 13 gives the remainder 1 will be of the form 13 multiplied by p plus 1 right and the number which when divided by 15 and gives remainder 2 will be of the form of 15q plus 2 and both these numbers are same. So from here we can say p will be equal to 15q plus 1 divided by 13 right. So we have one equation but two variables so what we'll do is we'll assume certain values for q and try to find the values of p in such a way that both the values p and q are natural numbers. Right. So in the table of 15, we are getting 505050 alternately and here we have table of 13. So we should have either 6 or 1 at the unit place of the numerator. So here we have 26 but 25 is not in the table of 15 and after that we have 91 and here we have 90 in the table of 15. So this can be written as 15 multiplied by 6 plus 1 divided by 13 and this gives us value of p equal to 7. So if q is equal to 6 then p is equal to 7. So these are the values of p and q and if I substitute this value of q over here the number which we were talking about will be 15 multiplied by 6 that is 90 plus 2 92 and you will get 92 again when you substitute value of p equal to 7 over here. 13 multiplied by 7 will give you 91 plus 1 will again give you 92. So 92 is actually the smallest number which satisfy this condition. When the number is divided by 13 you get remainder 1 and when the number is divided by 15 you get remainder 2 and after that all the numbers which will satisfy this condition will actually be in the form of 92 plus some x multiple of LCM of 13 and 15. That means 92 is the smallest number which is satisfying this condition for 13 and 15 and after that if you add a number which is multiple of both 13 and 15 which will be of this form LCM of 13 and 15 multiplied by x and you add 92 to that number that number will also follow this particular condition. So this number will actually be in the form of 92 plus and since 13 and 15 are co-prime numbers their LCM will be the product of 13 and 15. So 13 multiplied by 15 is 195 and any multiple of this LCM when added to 92 will satisfy this particular condition. So the number which which we are actually talking about is of this form and this is also the number in the form of 19 multiplied by y plus 3 because this number when gets divided by 19 you are getting remainder as 3. So this number which satisfy the first condition for 13 and 15 should also satisfy this condition that is when this number is divided by 19 you get remainder as so 19y can be written as 195x plus 89. So here 19y is completely divisible by 19 and now we have to check for which value of x this right hand side will be completely divisible by 19. So this 195x can be written as 190x plus 5x right. Here this 190x is completely divisible by 19 and this 89 can be written as 76 which comes in the table of 19 so 76 plus 13 right. So here this 76 is completely divisible by 19 and now we have to see for which value of x 
5 x plus 13 will be divisible by 19. So 19 twos are 38 that means if I substitute the value of x over here as 5 then this will be 25 plus 13 which is equal to 38 will be completely divisible by 19. That means for the value of x equal to 5 this number is completely divisible by 19 and this will be the number which when divided by 19 will give you remainder as 3. So let me substitute value of x as 5 over here and see what number we get. So the number should be 92 plus 195 multiplied by 5. So this will be equal to 5 fives are 25. 5 9 is a 45 plus 2 47 5 and a 5 plus 4 9 that is 975 plus this 92 and this will be equal to 5 plus 2 7 9 plus 7 16 9 plus 1 10 1067 right so let us check it using the calculator 1067 when divided by 13 you get remainder 1 that means 1067 minus 1 that is 1066 should be completely divisible by 13 yes it is and 1067 minus 2 that is 1065 should be divisible by 15 yes and 1067 minus 3 because you get remainder 3 when you divide it by 19 should be divisible by 19 yes so this is the smallest number which satisfy all the three given conditions. So thank you Mr. Shivam Kumar Tripathi for sending this interesting question. And that's all for this video. And for many more interesting videos, keep watching MathSmart, subscribe to it. And don't forget to press the notification bell because then only you will get to know about my new upcoming videos. So bye bye till then.